one of the most popular and widely consumed flavors of Thai cuisine is tom yum soup. It's a combination of spicy, salty, and sour. Today, I'm going to make a recipe for some of the best homemade Thai tom yum poong soup. You'll need one and a half liters of water, one thumb-sized chunk of galangal, eight kaffir lime leaves, about four stalks of lemongrass, eight cloves of garlic, two sweet white onions, three red tomatoes, quarter kilo of raw shrimp, red or green Thai chilies, however many you want, a handful bunch of cilantro, two to three handfuls of mushrooms, I'm using oyster mushrooms here, and four to five limes, depending on how sour you like your soup. Two tablespoons of Thai chili paste, known as prik pao, one teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of sugar, and about two tablespoons of fish sauce. The first thing to do is put a pot of water on the stove and bring it to a boil. Prepare the galangal by chopping it into thin slices. For the lemongrass, all you want to use is the bottom of the stalks. Discard the really tough outer leaves and cut each stalk into two to three centimeter chunks. Garlic adds an incredible fragrance to tom yum kung, so I'm going to use about eight cloves, peeled, and then sliced. Next, chop up the two sweet white onions into large wedges. Don't worry, they don't need to be too small. Cut the three tomatoes exactly the same as you cut the onions, into large wedges. For this soup, I'll be using a quarter kilo of shrimp, mostly for their lovely flavor. You can use any sort of shrimp, but be sure to devein them first. Most of the time, I use Thai red chilies, but this time I'll be using little green chilies. Add as many as you want. I'm going to make this pot with about 20 of these little guys. The next step is to chop up a good handful of cilantro. Be sloppy. It doesn't need to be small or evenly cut. Next, prepare the mushrooms into bite-sized pieces. Feel free to use whatever mushrooms you can find. Cut the limes and then squeeze the juice into a separate bowl. For this tom yum kung, I'll be using about 4-5 to five limes, but I like it pretty sour. Once the water has come to a light boil, throw the galangal, lemongrass, garlic, and kaffir lime leaves into the pot. Just crunch the kaffir lime leaves with your hands. Immediately add 2 heaping tablespoons of roasted prick pao chili paste into the water. Stir it around and bring the soup to a boil. Next, add 2 tablespoons of sugar and 1 teaspoon of salt to the soup and stir that in. Let the soup boil for about 2 minutes and then add the chopped chilies. When you've got a rolling boil going on, it's time to add the shrimp. Then add the mushrooms, the onions, and the tomatoes. Cook the soup for about 5 more minutes and then add 2 tablespoons of fish sauce. Boil the soup for another 2-3 to three minutes and then add the lime juice. Cook it on high heat for about 3 more minutes while stirring it quite frequently. Remember to sample the soup at any time to see if it needs any other flavoring ingredients. You may need to add a little more fish sauce or lime juice up to your own preference. Finally, add the handful of chopped cilantro to the pot. Lightly stir it in and then turn off the heat. Spoon it into a bowl and you've got some of the best tom yum kung you could ever make. Thanks for following along with this recipe and hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out eatingthaifood.com for lots more information and tips about delicious Thai food.